Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this squirrel. I use four ply crochet cotton for all three of the squirrels from different brands and as the thickness varies between brands they're all different sizes. I'll be using the lighter brown today because it will be slightly easier for you to see what I'm doing. I've got my four ply crochet cotton in a lighter brown for my main colour. The black is for the eye and this darker brown is for the markings. I've got black sewing thread and a sewing needle. That's to sew the eye on. The white is for the dot on the eye and the cream is for the tummy markings. I've got a 1.25mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and my scissors. Now we start at the bottom here and work up to the head. This second foot is crocheted on later. So we start with 10 chain. For row one we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have nine stitches. For row two, we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. And we'll have seven stitches. These ones are left three for the foot. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have eight stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we work three single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and three single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 
we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And we'll have 12 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. I'm at the last stitch and I work two single crochet into my last stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 13 stitches. For row 8 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first and last stitch and 1 single crochet into each of the other stitches. For row 9 we work 1 chain and turn and we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 15 stitches. So I'll work across row 9 and I'll meet you at the end. For row 10 we work 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 14 stitches.
for a joined single crochet we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and then our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around our hook and take it through all the loops now we're going to work seven chain we're going to start on the yarn For row 11 we work two single crochet into the second chain from the hook then work one single crochet into each remaining chain and one single crochet into each of our single crochet from the previous row and we'll have 21 stitches For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work three single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 23 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and three single crochet into the last stitch. Now we work six chain just for the end of the arm. For row 13 we miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. And then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work 
a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 26 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the arm done. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the next 17 stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch for, to the end. So I'll work this row and I'll meet you at the end. For row 16 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 17 stitches. Now we're going to work the chain for the head. We're up to this row here, so we work 12 chain. For row 17, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end, and we'll have 28 stitches.
of row 18 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 27 stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have 26 stitches. So I'll just complete this row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 24 stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last four stitches 
and then we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches two times. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last four stitches. I've got four stitches left so I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 22 I start with one chain and turn and I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches four times. So a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, a joined single crochet over the next two stitches, a joined single crochet over the following two stitches and then a joined single crochet over the next two. I'm starting the shaping for the head now. Now I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now I'm to, to the last two stitches so I work a joined single crochet over those two stitches. For row 23 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have eight stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. 
For bow 26 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have five stitches. We're starting on this front here now. So for row 27 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And for row 28 we work one chain and turn and we work a single crochet cluster over all the stitches. So we bring up a loop from each stitch. Yarn around the hook and take it through all the loops and we fasten off. And that's the body except for this leg here and the second ear. For the second ear we turn our work over and we join our cotton in the same stitch as the last single crochet from our first ear. And work one chain. Work a single crochet in the same place as our chain and a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And for the second row of the second ear we start with one chain and turn and we work a single crochet cluster over our three stitches. and fasten off. Now for this back foot we join our cotton three stitches up from the top of the front foot. So this stitch here and work eight chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And then we turn it and slip stitch into the next stitch on the body. Just in like that. Now we slip stitch back up our A single crochet from our foot and we're going to work a row between our foot and our arm. So into the first stitch we'll work a double crochet and then just work a double crochet into each stitch until you've got about four stitches left before the arm. This is just for this little piece here.
and then over the last four stitches work a half double crochet into each stitch. And then slip stitch into the arm. Now we're not going to fasten off. We turn our work over and we're going to do a neatening row. Now over the front I'm going to work a slip stitch into each stitch. Around the hands, just at the ends, I'm going to work two chain between my slip stitch and just under the feet. And up the back I'm going to work single crochet to make it easier to join the tail on. So I work a slip stitch into each stitch down to the tip of the first foot. If I work sing single crochet around the feet and the arms, it would make them quite, quite fat. So a slip stitch keeps it more narrow. Now once I get to the tip of the foot, I work two chain and then slip stitch in the next stitch. I do that about three times. And then one slip stitch into each stitch around to the end of the next foot. And then work two chain between the next few slip stitches. And then slip stitch along the bottom. And once you get to the corner, work a single crochet into each stitch 
up along the back. So I'll work up to the back and once I get to the join from the head I'll be back. Now once we get to the join of the back we work two chain between our single crochet if you'd like that tiny little bit of shaggy shagginess for about three or four stitches. And then start working a slip stitch into each stitch around the ears, down the head and to the tip of the arm. So I'll continue around working slip stitch into each stitch and I'll be back when I get to the tip of the arm. Now for the end of the hand, in between our slip stitch we work two chain just for a few stitches, three or four stitches with two chain between. And then work one slip stitch into each stitch along the bottom of the arm. And then slip stitch into the join and fasten off. And that's the body done. For the eye, we make a magic loop using our black. And work two chain and one half double crochet into our circle. We pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the eye. For the tail, we start about five or six stitches up from the bottom here. So I'll start in this stitch here And I work one chain and a joint single crochet over the next two stitches. Now I work one single crochet into each stitch, maybe occasionally two single crochet if you need to, until six stitches before the slope for the head, so six stitches before this stitch here.
I'll work an extra single crochet in that stitch. You can tell because your single crochets start sloping back a bit too much if you need an extra one. Now I'm six stitches from the head, so I work two single crochet into the following stitch. I'll just snip that little bit of the tail off from there. For row two, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then I work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And two single crochet into the following stitch. And I repeat that down to the end. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch down to the end of the row. For row 3 I start with 1 chain and turn, I work 1 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches and 2 single crochet into the following stitch and repeat that to the end of the row. So 1 single crochet into each of the next 4 stitches and 2 single crochet into the following stitch to the end of the row. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches and we work a join single crochet over the last 2 stitches. So 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches and then two single crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that to the last stitch. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch until we get to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we work one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch and repeat that to the end of the row. So one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and two single crochet into the following stitch to the end of the row.
of our weight we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next five stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And we should have 10 stitches. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn, and we work one single crochet into each stitch, and we'll have 10 stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And now we work six chain for the end of our tail. So six chain. For row 11, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. So a single crochet in each of our remaining chain. And then a single crochet into each of our single crochet from the previous row until we get to the last two. And we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we should have 13 stitches. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, we work one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches, and we'll have 12 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches.
For row 14 we work one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And row 16's work the same, one chain and turn, a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And then fasten off. That's the squirrel done except for the neatening row around the tail. Now I've done a bit of a wavy neatening row but if you'd prefer you could just work a single crochet in each stitch. Now I join just at the bottom of the tail and work one chain and work one single crochet into the next stitch and then I work three chain and work a single crochet into the following stitch and then I work four chain and work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. And I repeat that around three chain and a single crochet into the next stitch. And then four chain and work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And then just repeat three chain and a single crochet in the next stitch and four chain and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches all the way around. So I'll continue around the neatening row and I'll meet you near the end of the row. When I get back to the last stitch I slip stitch into the first stitch on the body and fasten off. And that's the tail done. Now I'll just weave in my ends and give it a quick iron and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now here's my pieces. The first thing I'll do is embroider a small white dot in the middle of the wider part of the eye and I'll embroider on this line here. I use brown cotton and What 
what I do is just attach it and then get the shape right and then I stitch over it and through the, co the cotton with sewing thread. So I'll stitch that on and the white dot on the eye and I'll be back. I've embroidered the white dot on the eye so the next thing I'll do is stitch the eye to the head just about there and I'll also put on this next marking. It will go from about here I think. Just to the bottom of the arm in there. Now I do have my patterns on my website and they have photos so you'll be able to see the placement of anything you're not sure of. I'll have my website in the description below. So I'll stitch these on and I'll be back. The last thing I do is embroider on little fur markings from the join there up to where it, these two markings get quite close. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished squirrel. And there's a finished squirrel. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website and my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.